Hi everyone, my name is Amy. Uh, today I have a really fun challenge. Um, I recently bought this uh, saw stop professional cabinet saw. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, that I'm really excited about. Um, the only challenge is that it's really not so straightforward to get it out of the car. Um, I thought I was being really clever. I called the store ahead of time to confirm the size and weights of all the boxes. And of course I have this Hun Element which has awesome cargo capacity. So um, when I came home, you know, all of this was full and I was able to move all the other boxes to the shop pretty easily on my own. Uh, but this box, I thought it was gonna be 200 pounds. It's actually much closer to 400 pounds. And while um, I probably could get some friends over to muscle it out, it still sounds kind of dangerous. So I'm gonna try another method that uh, will be safer and hopefully only require one or two people to execute. So let's get started. Okay, for this next step, I'm going to use these tailgate ramps that I made. Um, I started by making these brackets, which I'm pretty sure you can just buy. They're called ramp ends, um, but I had everything to make them, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, I started by taking a piece of 2-inch angle iron and then just extending it with a piece of flat bar so that there'd be more engagement with the tailgate. And then I welded on another piece of flat bar here. Um, at the angle that I knew the ramp would be at. Um, and uh, I made it extra wide in case I ever want to use a uh, 2x6 with it. But um, for now, for added stiffness, I just went with one 2x4 and then another 2x4 perpendicular to that. Uh, this piece of flat bar here has um, a fillet weld on both the top and the bottom, so uh, should be plenty strong. Okay, so I'm about to start pulling the pallet down the ramp, um, but I just want to show you what I've got set up inside the car. Um, just as a fail safe, uh, I've anchored the pallet to these mounts that the seats normally attach to. Now, I think there's going to be a lot of friction, so the chance that this thing really just goes flying down the ramp seems pretty unlikely, um, but this pretty simple to throw together so um, thought I'd have this here. I also have this winch. Uh, unfortunately it's not a fancy winch that will um, let me lower it down the ramp uh, with a you know with the winch loaded um, but at least something that will help me change the length of the setup if I end up needing that. Okay, that's it. It's on the ground. Um, the next step here is I'm going to unpack it right here and I got the mobile base for it so I'll just lift that onto the mobile base and roll it into the shop. I um, hope that was helpful to somebody. I would have enjoyed having a video like this uh, a couple days ago. Um, yeah, see you next time.